We're going to be going over the practice page for electric charge. Um, in this packet, we have it listed as page number five. Um, it may be different in your packet. So, practice page, electric charge. Number one says protons have a positive electric charge. Electrons have a negative electric charge. Neutrons have a neutral or no electric charge. Most atoms are electrically neutral because the number of protons equals the number of electrons. So what that means is if you have, let's say, 10 protons and you have 10 electrons, that means you have 10 positive charges and 10 negative charges. So you have the same amount of protons and electrons. So you have 10 positive charges and 10 negative charges. So they're balanced. But if I had 10 protons and only 8 electrons, that means I have 2 more positive charges than I have negative charges. So the atom would be a positive electrical charge. Now, if I had 18 electrons and only 8 or 10 protons, that means I have 8 more electrons than I have protons. So I would have 8 more negative charges than I have positive charges. So my atom would be electrically negative. But if it's the same, it's going to be neutral. All right, then it keeps going. It says most of the atoms are electrically neutral because the number of protons equal the number of electrons. So it's just, act, we accidentally typed it twice. Atoms with an electric charge become charged by gaining or losing electrons. And we know that atoms share or gain electrons or give away electrons, and that gives them their charge. When this charge becomes built up on an object, we call that buildup static electricity. Number two says, there are three basic rules of electric charge. Opposite charges attract. Like charges repel. And the law of conservation of charge. What does the law of conservation of charge state? It states that charge cannot be created or destroyed only transferred. So once you have static electricity or any type of charge, you cannot create it or destroy it. You can only transfer it between, between atoms. Number three says, all charged objects exert a force that can cause other charges to move. What is the force that charged objects give off? What else can it do? So the force is the electric field and it allows it to act over a distance. So it does not have to have direct contact, it allows it to act over a distance. Number four says, some materials are good at transferring electric charge. They are called conductors. Other materials are not good at transferring electric charge. They are called insulators. Mater metals are good at transferring electric charge. Based on what you know about charge, think about what you wrote in number one about the structure of an atom. What do you think it is about metal structurally that allowed them to transfer charge easily? So we learned that protons up top are positive charges, electrons are negative, and neutrons are neutral. But we learned that um, the charge is based off transferring electrons. So metals hold on to their electrons very loosely, which allows them to be transferred very easily.
So because they can transfer their electrons easily, it makes it very easy for them to get charges, either positive or negative charges. Number five said there are three main ways to transfer electric charge. List and uh, describe each below in your own words and include a picture or a real world example of each. So the first type we've talked about is conduction. It's by direct contact. So they have to be touching and a real world example will be touching and shocking. So you touch somebody and you shock them. That's conduction. Number two is friction. It's caused by rubbing the object. And it would be like uh, rubbing your socks across carpet. So it builds up static electricity because it's rubbing. And the third one would be induction. And it's by an electric field. And that one um, could be lightning. Or it could be like rubbing your hair um, or holding your balloon next to your hair. And it makes your hair stand up, but it's not actually touching your head. So that's the third way.